1 minus 1. Why? Because in this system, when I have a M, M, K, 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 then the mode, I mean, the shape of vibration I can expect is this and this. Therefore, I will get this. And you can check whether you can get this or not. Actually, this will, the whole process to get this will be assigned as your extra homo, and the due date will be on the coming Thursday. Okay? And on, on Thursday, we will review whole model analysis program. Okay? And you can do it, MATLAB, but I want you to be able to do the whole model analysis by hand, especially using this very special case. Reason? For the special case, you know the solution, right? Okay? But if you do by hand each step, you will see what exactly, what the detailed behavior of each process look like. Okay? So, and you can, you can get a cue also by using this. Right? And then what do you do? And then you, what do you do? And then you say Q, another transformation, Q is a P matrix and R. Okay? So what in fact you are doing is, here is X, and here is Q, and here is R vector, and you are transforming this displacement vector. How you do? From X to Q, you, 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 you said X is equal to M to the minus one half Q, and Q to the R is defined Q equal to P and R, and R to the X you said x is equal to m to the minus one-half p r. Okay? What is a p? That's the uh, question uh, you asked me in the last lecture, right? What is a p? How to get a p? p vector, I mean p matrix, is composed by V1, V2, V, and V. Okay. And what is V? The V vector, V vector is the, okay, Okay, then we assume Q vector is V exponential G omega P to this matrix equation, then I will have, this is double line. Okay, then I will have the, the easy eigenvalue problem, K V is equal to lambda V and the lambda is omega square. And that's what we will get. Okay? So, here we can just assume that x is the sum vector, space vector, exponential j omega t. In other words, we are, we are saying the, the, the vibration has one vibration is like this, and the other vibration is like this with different frequency omega. Okay? But here what I what we are saying is the the vibration of the system can be expressed by in R coordinate. And why the R coordinate is so beautiful? 
is because if I use R coordinate, then the equation turns out to be I identity matrix R double dot and plus Okay, this is diagonal matrix. And where this is P transpose K Okay. This is so beautiful. Okay. For this system, this means that I have one one zero zero R one R two plus zero zero and this is omega one square, this is omega two square. Equal to meaning that I have an equation R1 double dot minus omega 1 square R1 equal to 0 R2 double dot minus omega 2 square. I have two independent single degree of freedom system. What? By just to doing this magic transformation. What the hell is this, right? <laughs> what is a big deal, right? That's why you, you, you make a such an interesting sound, right? Okay. What's the big deal? The big deal is this transformation make any multi-degree of freedom system, vibration system that can be expressed by this matrix form equation can be decomposed into single degree of freedom system. Now you know how to solve this. Yeah? Interpret it. And then you got the solution, like R1 is equal to some amplitude exponential Z minus Zeta Omega 1T cosine Omega 1T plus Phi, things like that. Okay? And then this, the, this real displacement X can be obtained from that transformation of this. Because you know R, and you know P, and you know M, you know X. So the process it look complicated, but it can be said like this. Okay, if we have this transformation, M is known, and the P is known. How to get the P? P is composed by the v1, v2 vector. How to get the v vector? Solving this eigenvalue problem, how to get k, k tilde? k tilde is m minus one half, k m minus one half. Okay. So we have a magic transformation that can decompose multi-degree of freedom vibratory system. Okay, next question is, what if we have CX star? For example, we have lamper here. 